Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about how to set up a fiber, a fiber optic network system and some important components we need to do that. So we have heard about the fiber optic network system before. We know it's really fast, much more faster than a conventional Ethernet system. So the Ethernet cables, due to the IEEE 02.3 protocol, it can only transmit up to 100 meters per, you know, just a regular one. But people have been trying to overcome the barriers, the obstacles to make the transmission distance longer by using extenders, injectors, some of them can extend all the way up to 800 meters. But after that, it's harder to get even an inch further. And also, the, the bandwidth is only 10 megabits per second. That, that won't power much devices, so it's kind of not worth it. So most people will then choose to use a fiber optic network. Because fiber optic networks, they can transmit much more faster. They usually can go over 1,000 meters and the bandwidth can always stay around, well, a thousand megabytes per second. So most, we can often see these fiber optic networks set up in medical facilities because the research and a lot of other applications, it can benefit it. And also in some like public areas like libraries when they need a very fast working network system and in government offices and mostly like defense spaces where they're, you know, the fast internet speed is also required. Mostly you can make sure as long as there is long distance or heavily occupied network, the opt fiber optic cables will take a very good big part in it. Now today we're going to set up one just thinking of expanding our everyday household network to like a thousand meters further. Over here, over in a thousand meters, there's gonna be a wireless access point and it's gonna be sending out our network signal. So in this case, we're gonna need a fiber optic cable, this whole roll of it. And we're gonna need this very important component, which is a converter, a media converter. And these two are our SFP modules. The SFP modules, you can think of them as a gateway for the fiber optic cable signals because they transmit in optic signals. These SF, SFP modules are also called small form factor pluggables. When they connect with our fiber optic, optic cables, they'll receive the optic signal and help, and kind of like, you can think of it capturing it and then helping it convert in the media converter. And then the converter will help us convert the optical signal into a digital signal. So in this case, our, you know, our wireless access point can receive the data and you know, start giving out data for all our devices. So these two are very important parts of the fiber optic system. Now we have to also know that the fiber optic cable, when we use it, we have to make sure what kind R is. So right here now I have a duplex one. So this fiber optic cable has two pathways. You can think of that, like two pathways for data to come. If we use both of them, it's like one go, one sends out the signal, one receives the signal. So it's gonna, it will have a very smooth transmission, but mostly we can also use only one, but just make sure our two modules are in different wavelengths so they can know which wavelength is the receiving and which one is the transmitting. And the all, every assembly is very easy. I'll do it right now and let you guys have a look at it. So now, right on our main network part, I'll use an ethernet cable, connect it to our router. And then we take one of our converters. <clears throat> These are very small and we need a separate power source, but thank it's only like 12 volts, so we can easily find a good spot for it. And then this is now connected to the power supply and then connected to the internet through our router. And right now, what I have to do is take one end of my fiber optic cable. I have two and we have to, they are marked as A and B. The, the corresponding one on the other side is marked as A and B as well. And if we're only using one pathway, we have to remember to use the same one or the signal is just gonna 
leak out on the other end or just not go through. It's going to be like a false connection. So I'm going to choose line number A, take the lid off, take the lid off the pluggable as well, and then insert. And now insert the pluggable inside SFP port. So this end, the connection is thorough. The other end, let's do the same. So remember, we, we choose A on one side, A on the other. Also take the lid off and plug in the pluggable and then plug the pluggable in the, you know, plug the pluggable in the converter, the media converter. And now we connect the media converter to our wireless access point and also we need a power source for it. So connect the power to it as well. Okay, everything's all set. And now you can see that our wireless access point, the indicators are on. It means the power and data is going through. So now we can search for it on our device and connect to the internet. And this all whole thing is, you know, buried underground or whatever we, however we deal with it. Okay. And that's pretty much it for this setup. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. Happy to answer them and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.